Hello, I'm the artist Michael Zotos, and I want to point something out. Uh, I went into New York City to the galleries and museums and all for quite some time before I actually got involved in the art myself, as far as creating it and putting it out where people will see it. And in these galleries, I'd be introduced to works that look kind of like, to me they didn't look particularly good, but what I found was there was a concept to it. And I think everybody who goes in and out of galleries and museums will find that. And I just want to explain my experience of how I was introduced to that circumstance. Okay, I came across a, a, an exhibit, and I don't know what you'd call it, a installation or whatnot. And it was a, a bowling pin. Somebody had obviously taken the time and effort to create a bowling pin, they turned it on a, with a lathe or whatnot, and a bowling ball. And then they cut it out so it was like a silhouette. So most of the pin and the ball were missing, but there was the outline to the one side, almost like a shadow. And it was $160,000. So I'm talking to the owner of the gallery, so, you know, because they cut this out, it's $160,000. And the lady says, no, no. She says, this is minimalism. I said, what does that mean? She says, well, you're seeing a minimal amount of the, of the piece, and you could put it together in your mind, the whole piece. You know what it is. And I said, well, you know, $160,000. I go home, I come back with some. You want, you know, how many you want? She says, no, it doesn't work that way. This particular artist is, like, famous in the minimalist, um, genre, venture, whatever you want to call it. And, um, you know, that, that stuck in my mind. And then I went to the Armory show, maybe a year or two later, and I saw an exhibit. It, it was like one gallery had this, this booth, room, whatever you want to call it. And they had what you could call like a, a, an efficiency apartment. There was a bed in there, a... Uh, a, 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 kitchen, a, a sink, a, a bathroom sink, and a, and a, and a, a little uh, medicine cabinet over the sink. But none of these things were actually real. What happened was the artist had taken this very thin gray tubing, about a quarter of an inch thick, and, and long pieces of it, and pieced it together, bent them. Looked very easy to bend to me. And made like an outline of the bed that it almost looked like a pencil drawing only you're standing in it okay and the same thing with the uh, medicine cabinet and the sink and these pieces were I thought very expensive sixty thousand dollars per piece okay and I had the same conversation I had had about the bowling ball you know, in the bowling pin. Well, you know, how many do you want? I can, they, the, 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 the people said, no, this person is important and significant in minimalism and came up with the concept. If you go home and make it, yes, it's there, but it's not, that's not the, the, uh, the rationale here, okay? You, 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 it's not worth this kind of money coming from you. And, uh, what I came away realizing, and as I looked at other different types of art, is that a lot of times what you look at and you see and you say, well, you look at a gallery wall and you say, that's a good one, that's not a good one, that's a really good one. You're looking at the momentary appearance, and, and there is a, 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 something to that, but, but a lot of times it's about the type of artwork, who created it, why, what it means. and. I really do believe that these concepts of this nature do help to expand the mind and open up the mind and the thinking.